In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a photo inside of Adobe Photoshop. So when you open up your image in Photoshop, it's going to open up in Camera Raw if you have captured it in a raw setting. If you've captured it in JPEG, it's going to open up inside of Photoshop and you're going to be able to access all of these on different settings inside Photoshop, which I'll show you after we have finished editing this raw image inside of Camera Raw. So let's get started on the right hand side with the basics. So we have exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. And that's where we really want to start with our image. We want to get the exposure out. So we're going to lift that exposure a bit. We're going to increase the contrast. We're going to drop down the highlights so we're not blowing out too much of the highlights. We're going to lift the shadows a bit to just pull a bit of detail out there. And then the whites and the blacks, we can see if we go too far on the whites, we're going to blow it out too much. So we don't need too much there. And if we do go too far, you'll see that this lights up in the top right. So we don't want to blow out any of those highlights. But we do want it to be a bright image. And then the darks, we can see how far we want to go with the darks. And you can see we are blowing that out, but we do have some very dark things in the background here, which we want to show as true black. Then next, we like to go into the tone curve and do a nice S shape to get a bit more contrast and vibrance into the image. Don't overdo it. If you overdo the tone curve, it does take a bit too much in the highlights and blow out the image too much. So let's head back into the basic. Now that we're happy with the exposure, we're going to look at the temperature. So that's making it a really warm image and that's making it really cool. We like to make it slightly warmer and about there is good. And then you can edit the tint if you like to, just don't go too overboard. If you do do too much here, it can make a really big difference and make the image look really funny and weird. Now we can add a bit of texture. If you want to smooth the skin, you can take the texture down a bit and take the clarity down and that gives you that soft glow. We don't want too much smoothness on the skin. Dehaze is going to make it much darker. So we don't want too much of the dehaze and we want to add a little bit of vibrance to make it pop and a little bit of saturation. Now we are editing this photo for a thumbnail on YouTube. So it's going to be a lot older and a lot more contrasty than we would normally edit an image. We're also going to head into the details and sharpen the image a bit because we want it to really stand out as a thumbnail. You can add some noise reduction if you did shoot this at a high ISO does help just soften up the image a bit. And then once we're happy with how we've edited it, we can then open it in Adobe Photoshop. Now this is one way to edit a raw photograph. If you're opening a JPEG, if you captured your image as a JPEG, then you can head up to image and then adjustments and all the settings that we had access to there are here. So there's your brightness and contrast. There's the curves that we worked on. There's your exposure. There's your vibrance, hue and saturation. There's the color balance to make it warmer and colder. And everything that you need is in this adjustments panel. So you still have access to all of those settings and you can then edit it inside of Adobe Photoshop. If you have any questions or queries about editing photos inside of Adobe Photoshop, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to help you out. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we create new videos like this every single week helping you with everything Adobe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.